We shift our focus to this story now. So we have a new cosmic visitor in the form of a mini-moon for the next 57 days. Earth captured asteroid 2024 PT5 on September 29th and will hold on to it until November. This tiny celestial body highlights the dynamic nature of our solar system and offers a unique opportunity for scientific study. Joining us for a discussion on the celestial body is Professor Lerito de Lowe. He's Professor of Physics and Astronomy at the University of the Western Cape. Good evening, Professor. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. So this temporary celestial companion of ours has been all the talk. Talk us through this phenomena. Yes. Um, so this... Um, what is now called a mini moon, um, because it's in orbit uh, around Earth, um, it has come from an asteroid, uh, the asteroid belt, so further out uh, in our solar uh, system. And um, we are uh, excited to uh, have it here because we think that Earth. Uh, and the solar, uh, you know, uh, formed together with other uh, planets in the uh, solar system. Um, so having a visitor from these locations is part of our formation history, uh, uh, if you like. Mm, and I suppose it's quite beneficial, beneficial for you as scientists and researchers, because we've been hearing that this is quite the opportunity for you guys to study further. Yes, so this is uh, uh, exciting in two ways. These um, um, near-Earth uh, asteroids get monitored because one of the fears is uh, any of them hitting uh, Earth uh, at uh, any uh, time. However, in this case, uh, Earth has actually just uh, captured um, this uh, particular asteroid and put it uh, in orbit. And um, it's at the moment um, circling Earth, uh, just like uh, our moon. And, um, and so that's part of the excitement, mm -hmm. uh, yes. We understand that this asteroid is very small in comparison to Earth's permanent moon. Just talk us through the size, the orbital period, and even the trajectory. Yes, so this asteroid is um, only um, 30, um, uh, actually uh, only 10 um, meters or so, mm -hmm. and uh, about 3,000 uh, times smaller than um, the moon. And at the moment, it's about 3 million kil kilometers away. So um, because of its small size and the distance, we can't see it by naked eye. Um, and as the visual uh, shows there, it's... Um, orbiting Earth and much closer to Earth than um, the other uh, planets such as Venus uh, and um, Mercury. And um, so that's uh, uh, the orbit uh, I think you are referring to. We expect it will come um, close again in about 10 years and at that time it will be uh, actually closer than it is right now. Hmm. What a sight it is. Professor, thank you very much for your time this evening. That's Professor Liroto de Lowe. He's a professor of physics and astronomy at the University of the Western Cape.